This is what 40 million people in China have been watching over the last week. Emergency hospitals are being built in Wuhan to treat and accommodate the thousands of people infected with novel coronavirus. Not only built, but from the ground up, stocked and open to the public in just 10 days. The huge rush reflects the health emergency in China and the speed with which authorities are responding to it. Much of the country is taking safe and sensible steps by staying indoors, and what they're watching on their phones, tablets and laptops are images such as this. It's a transparent process that allows them to see and hold accountable everything before them in real time. These workers have been breaking ground, building foundations, building superstructures that are then closed in and filled up with medical equipment and health workers. The millions who are watching the live streams on Wuhan have been taken aback, even for China, building the 1,000-bed Huashan Hospital in 10 days is fast and they managed it at a time when the city is in lockdown and when much of the population is still in their hometown for Chinese New Year. Yet despite the time, pressure and lack of usual levels of labour, here it is. Work in Huashan Hospital, the first to be ready, began on January 23rd. It was finished 10 days later on February 2nd and then admitted its first patients. Names mean everything in China. Huashan literally means Fire God Mountain. The second emergency hospital is Leishanshan, or Thunder God Mountain. Fire and Thunder were chosen for their traditional associations with protection. Both are believed to scare away the bad and evil. But both hospitals are modern medical facilities. Huashanshan has 1,000 beds split over two levels and 25,000 square meters. Leishanshan is even bigger. 1,600 beds, over 75,000 square meters. It's not just the hardware. The facilities are being filled with thousands of military medical personnel, some of them with first-hand field experience from the Ebola virus epidemic in West Africa and other international peacekeeping missions. Now they're bringing those skills home to serve their own people. All of them have been trained to handle this outbreak and amongst them are specialists with backgrounds in infectious diseases, respiratory illnesses and intensive care. China is also leaning on its experience with the SARS outbreak in 2003, when it built an emergency hospital in just seven days, believed to be a world record for a structure of its kind. Now it will need to move even faster than the novel coronavirus that so far has infected over 20,000 people, mainly in Wuhan. Local hospitals are struggling to cope with the current outbreak. Now that extreme pressure is being relieved by the two new hospitals, plus many other existing structures like sports centers and conference centers that will provide room for many more thousands of beds. Bit by bit, they're catching up with this fast moving virus and should it worsen, they're better prepared. This is The China Current and I'm James Chow.